When planning for disaster recovery, in addition to utilizing pool pairing mechanisms that are built into Skype for Business, we must also consider how we're going to handle the web requests that come into our simple URLs. As you can see in this diagram, we have two pools, pool one and pool two, in two distinct sites, which are paired to each other. Now, each of the pools have their own respective external web services FQDNs, as you can see here. Uh, we also have central items such as link discover and our meet URLs and our dial-in URLs and so forth that are common across all of our pools. The idea here when we look at GeoDNS is the ability for us to service a request to a particular user based on their geography. So if I am in uh, the site one region and I query for linkdiscover.contoso.com, the global load balancers would be able to send me here to pool one. And likewise, if I'm near site two and I type in linkdiscover.contoso.com, global load balancers would be able to send me here to pool two. The advantage of this scenario is number one, we get uh, more regionalized traffic, which is good if say, for example, pool one happens to be on the west coast of the United States and pool two happens to be on the east coast. But this also provides us uh, an additional layer of protection when we have a disaster. So in the event that pool one goes down, the GeoDNS system can realize that pool one is no longer available. And in that instance, users of pool one, when they query for link discover.contoso.com, they can actually be transparently redirected over here to pool two, ensuring that their services continue to operate um, as we would expect in a disaster.